You might have heard people call young people of today entitled or ingrates. It's not always easy to know how to be grateful if you never practiced it or you've never been taught or if you never experienced bad times. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Note that I recorded this back in January. So if you're wondering, well, he's talking about being deprived of liberty and now I'm a lot more familiar with that. Well, that's why I didn't have this context of what was going to happen when I recorded this. But maybe that will mean that you get so much more out of this episode. Let's begin. This is a beautiful thought. Welcome, distinguished travelers, ladies, gentlemen, extraterrestrials, and fellow welcome guests to this grand exposition of wonderfulness. Let's talk about being thankful for what you have. So I was listening to this record, this old record. I've been listening to it, the same version on YouTube for a couple of years. And it's mislabeled on YouTube. It says it's Curtis Mayfield and the title is Diamond in the Back. The actual artist is this funk artist from the 70s, funk and soul artist, William Devorn. And the song is called Be Thankful for What You've Got. And it's kind of funny because it's like a kind of like a proto gangster funk track because it's talking about riding in the Cadillac. And Diamond in the back, drop top front, chilling on the scene in the gangster lean. <laughs> like riding around in the car and uh, being a straight gangster. But the song actually has this positive message, which is actually the more core message of the song, even if you don't have a Cadillac, even if you don't have a car at all. Just be thankful <laughs> for what you got. All right, that's not the melody, but <laughs> William Devorn, I recommend checking out the album of the same name. You can listen to it on YouTube. But I was walking out today, I was thinking about making a post on Facebook saying, hey, the sun is shining, this beautiful, you know, 33 degree C Paraguayan sun beaming down on us and how lovely it is. And we, we could be grateful for that and asking people, what are you grateful for? Now, gratitude is an interesting emotion. Some people will say that they do not have control over their emotions. Now, in my experience, gratitude is one of the higher emotions that is easiest to have control of because you can actually do this kind of meditation or thought exercise. When you get good at it, it only takes like five or 10 seconds to do. So I know in my experience, I've had some tough times. Now, I can be grateful to say that I've never been starving. I've never wanted for food, but I have had times where I was eating nothing but rice and beans and sometimes just rice. And I have had times where I've worked for 10 or 12 hour days and not had anything to show for it. I'm working on commission in a big fat zero or a donut as we called it in those days. So now I do have things. I have food. I can have enough money to go to some nicer restaurants like here in Asuncion, this Bolsi and Lido and some, some others. And not worry too much about how I'm going to pay for it. And I can enjoy the good things in life when I sit down for a meal, even if it's a humble meal. I can say grace. And remember how grateful I am. So this is a kind of formula for helping get to gratitude. So if you think about a time when you lacked something, and what it 
felt like to lack it. And now you have that thing. Once, twice, three times I've been deprived of liberty, unable to leave a detention center or that kind of thing. Now I can walk freely. What would it be like? You're locked in a cage. You couldn't walk the streets. You couldn't go and visit your friends. And if by chance you are locked up like that, what would it be like if you didn't have full control over your own breath? Likely you do have control over your own breath. You do have control of where you can put your eyes. And you may even have control over where you can walk or where you can eat. There's so many things to be grateful for. And sometimes I say this is an indirect path because... If you're not used to feeling gratitude, then it helps to think about that lack and then look at the good things you have and experience that. But also you can just be directly grateful. Go straight to gratitude. So instead of looking at an absence of violence in your environment, you look at peace. There's something a little more subtle. There's something I'm very grateful for. Now, looking back over your life, maybe after you've got that taste of gratitude, you can experience the gratitude for those hard times. And I am grateful for those days where I only ate rice. I'm grateful for the hard times because they show me my own strength. I'm grateful for the good times because they show the abundance, grace. Every day is a good day. And maybe tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. (laughs) Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for trying, actively putting in the effort to experience gratitude in your life. As I said, it's one of the easiest higher emotions to access by looking at the things you have and appreciating them. And... It's not like a lot of drugs you have to pay for. It's absolutely free and available to you in almost any moment of the day. Thank you for experiencing gratitude. Have a great day. Enjoy that Paraguayan sun if you're here in Asuncion. (laughs) And I'll talk to you soon. A beautiful thought. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for being thankful. And thank you for thinking about a friend who might enjoy this, who might gain some insight or some benefit to their own emotional intelligence by listening to this episode. And thank you for sending them a message saying, I think you might like this because giving them a little reason If you do that, it's much appreciated. Uh, You don't have to, but if you do it, I will really like it. Uh, Thanks for that, and have a great day.